Uh, for those who don't know, my name is Africa Sanchez, and I will be filming a makeup look using my Ace Beauty that I got in my Boxy Charm. Um, just to show you what it looks like, it's very, very pretty. Um, the looks that I've done with this palette, I've gotten so many compliments at work, and so yeah. So I'm gonna do a little look. Um, I'm trying to be quiet because my boyfriend's sleeping in the other room, so I don't want to make it too loud, but let's get on with the video. Okay, so first, what I'm going to do is I'll start off with my brows. Um, my, my brows are already like waxed, which makes things so much easier, so I just have to, fill, to kind of shape them up and fill them out a bit. By the way, this is the Benefit Brow Styler. This is what it looks like. Um, this is something I got for gratis. And surprisingly, like, I use it every day. And I had this for, like, I think two months now. And it's still pretty, still pretty full. So I just use the pencil side just to outline my brows a bit. And then I... Shake, 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 and tap and use the powder to fill in. Now that my eyebrows look like even bigger caterpillars, this is when I come in with my trusty Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in shade Butterscotch. I use this to highlight as well as shape and carve my eyebrows so oh and by the way so the brushes i'm going to be using are the brushes that i ordered from zari cosmetics which are these travel size brushes i absolutely love them they're real hairs and so they're nice and soft and what's crazy is that i'm not even a brush person but prior to getting these um i again was not a brush person however i've switched over to brushes because i do love these i don't think she's selling them anymore but i think i saw them somewhere on like amazon so um definitely get you these so i'm gonna take my concealer and take this flatter end brush and just carve my brows out jesus i need to get myself a brand new concealer this is like i'm like scraping <laughs> product out Alright, now that my brows are done and a little bit lopsided, um, <laughs> what I'm going to do next is take my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow primer. This, this is a nice primer. It's a nice white base. And I usually like to take it with my finger and kind of just pat it on my eye. And so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> now that my eyeballs are primed, next I'm going to take this fluffy brush, again from Zari Cosmetics. Gotta roll my sleeves up. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and go in with this color, Grand Canyon. Oh, this color, Grand Canyon. Oh, by the way, this is the Ace Butte Vintage Dawn Palette. I forgot to say the name. But I'm going to go in with Grand Canyon and I'm going to put that um, in my crease and blend it upwards. So, pat, pat, pat. And I'm just going to pack the color on. Maybe I should move up closer because I feel like you can't sleep. Okay, now that I got the pigment that I want and the colors nicely packed in, I'm just going to take my squeezy brush cleaner thingy, tap the excess powder off, not excess, just take off the pigment off the brush. I'm going to go in with Pyramid, which is this nice little brick brown, and put that in my crease.
Okay, so now that I have that brown blended in, um, same thing, I'm gonna take my brush cleaner. Um, I like to add that color and just to uh, bring back some dimension into my eyes. All right, cool, now that we look like we just got punched in the face, I'm gonna go back in with my Anastasia primer and I'm just gonna do a half cut crease. <laughs> I just got punched. So to cut my crease, I'm actually going to use this eyebrow brush that is in my Zari Cosmetics brush set. I, don't y'all hate when y'all lips just get so crusty and nasty? It's like, ew. Anyways, I'm going to take it off the back of my hand like this and cut the crease. Alright, now that my crease is cut, and that took me a whole like two and a half minutes just to do a little, little cut crease, I'm gonna go in. Sorry, I'm like looking down. I can't find my brush. Oh, right here. I'm gonna go in back into fade and kind of bring that outer V corner back in. Excuse me. Alright, so now to my favorite part, I'm gonna, I've been like loving this color, it's called Dew, it's this real nice and um, icy blue, it's like, so pretty. I'm gonna take that and put it where I cut the crease. Okay, now, I feel like it looks white on camera, but in person, it's just, like, icy, real, like, icy blue. So now, I'm going, we are not done. I'm going to re-wet my, I just wet the, <laughs> I just wet the back of my hand. I'm going to re-wet this bra. Hello, so I am editing, and I just realized that the camera somewhere cut me off and did not record me adding the metallic copper shade on my onto my eyes so that's kind of what I did I blended in with the brown and the icy blue so yeah let's get back into the video kind of sucks but yeah I'm gonna take the Estee Lauder double wear and I think my shade is a uh, saddle sandalwood saddlewood again <laughs> another sample of it just because it's like not even expensive, but I'm too cheap to buy another one or to actually buy one. So, going in with the flat Zari Cosmetics brush, I am going to just put it on. This is such a nice foundation, like it's so pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to take back it with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Concealer that is literally, you probably can't even see, but it, it's gone. I'm like scraping it down. I gotta get a new concealer. I'm gonna put it in right here. Right here. Do my little T. Bring it down. And I'm just gonna let that sit and in the meantime I have to look down. And in the meantime I will be taking my MAC um contour palette and I'll just pat it in and contour. Alright, my phone just like randomly rudely decided to decided to just update itself so what i'm gonna do is just blend my stuff out and to blend it out i i could have used the flat brush that i used for my foundation but i do like the fluffy brush and how it blends out my concealer oh Oh, the lighting looks different. 
I didn't put my ring light up. I'm just using like natural lighting because I'm in front of a window. And now it looks so different. Why? Alright, so I'm going to take my brush and I'm just gonna bounce my face up. Because I could always use an extra bit of bronziness. And now we take our Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder that is basically almost empty. And I powder where I put concealer on. Now I take my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette, which although I don't use it too often, the packaging looks pretty beat up. <laughs> I don't like, what I don't like about these is that they have no mirror. And that really, really bugs me. Cause I'm like, put a mirror in. Y'all got money. Hello. So anyways, before my camera cuts me off, I'm going to go back in with my Ace Cute palette and finish my eyes. I'm gonna go in with Fade, which is this color right here. And I'm gonna just, is it tight line? I'm, I'm gonna put it underneath my eyeball. Now for my favorite part, I am going to highlight using my new favorite highlighter palette from Fenty Beauty, Kilowatt OU palette. Um, yeah, I'm very late in the game. <laughs> I just bought this a few days ago, but it's beautiful. So what I'm going to do is take this coppery-ish color. And just dust that all on my cheekbone and a little bit up into the eye it's so pretty like uh, oh also what I want to do is take this like lilac kind of color all right it, it, it looks more blue I'll take that and kind of press it in as well to make it a little bit more icy and I'll take the orange and do the same I want to go back in with this palette it's so pretty go in with this color right here and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner of the eyeball I'm going to um, put some eyelashes on. Oh, mascara. Actually, before I sign off, this is a mascara that I also got in my BoxyCharm. Um, this is, this this whole video was supposed to be just about the eyeshadow. And I'm like going off on so many tangents. So this is Trustique. Um, I got it in my BoxyCharm. So look how cool this is. You flip it down. And it's a lash curler and a balm mascara. So I'm actually going to do that off camera because I it usually takes me like a long time to get it on. I'm going to put my lashes back on and I'll come back and talk more about the palette. Which is what the video is really supposed to be on. <laughs> okay, so I didn't feel like putting lashes on because I'm like, I'm literally only going to, you know, I'm going to film this and take this off. But I have my mascara on bomb mascara so anyways this is the look the palette itself is actually like really freaking good like I love it I was gonna put it in my um freelance kit but I was like they don't need it it's all mine <laughs> um yeah I, I love it the shades they're so pigmented they show up there's a yellow that I'm gonna that I use on it that I'll use it in a different look to film like this like yellow and like orangey sunsetty type of look that yellow is so pigmented I'm talking about like usually I have trouble getting those kind of like yellows to look on me I mean to show up on me to and then usually if they do show up it's like green and nasty and it's like ew but 
that yellow look bomb the orange looks good the browns look good the metallics are beautiful so yeah i do love the palette i'm very, very happy that boxy charm sent it in the january box um so yeah thank you so so much for watching um i'm gonna try to post up more and i'll probably post like little snippets up on my instagram um but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys